this is basically the environmental chamber where we keep all the samples inside for either two days or five days based on the standard requirement uh, with different uh, ambient conditions and the humidity levels uh, because each product will be designed with respect to different country specifications. So if this product is going to come to India, so it has to sustain for 40 degrees for certain 93% uh, average value. Similarly, if it is for US, so it has to sustain for uh, 25 degrees and uh, 93 average. So, this is the upper and we will check uh, after the conditioning, uh, we will check uh, for any directive failure or any kind of uh, failure observations. Basically the spacings in internally are there inside the product between by parts. Because of this moisture, there should not be any kind of formation or any kind of something which can happen so that it can affect the insulation of the product. That is what this thing can be used. Display with the 1 kilo sine wave and a white pattern. This will be considered as maximum load. As a user, user part, it may take less, but this load it is the maximum load you will consider. This is a 1 kilohertz signal um, will connected to the speaker. This will we can see 1 kilo hertz. This is a power measurement. We can read the values. How much power it is taking, current and wattage and supply voltage. Even after that also there are certain additional uh, high flame requirements and this is basically a needle flame uh, chamber where we give 20 mm of flame. Uh, V0, we have different flame categories, V0, V1 and all those for plastics. Apart from the, that, this is more severe condition. Uh, this uh, only in case if there is a fire observation when you do the glow wire testing. If the fire persists for more than 2 seconds, this test is required as the standard. If there is no fl flame persisting, then uh, this test is not done. Here we will uh, keep the plastic specimens. We will take the uh, we will cut it and uh, take the samples from the main product itself. So we will cut it and take it. And uh, if depending upon how far it is nearby to the live parts, there is certain temperature specified. It has to sustain for 650 or 550 or 850 degrees uh, based on different conditions specified. So. Uh, this is the glow wire uh, or the copper wire where uh, we will set the temperature here and uh, we will start it so the plastic part will be cut that side so when we start it this uh, tip of the copper uh, tube which is having that heat whatever we need it or as with standard requirement that will go and touch that plastic part uh, even if the flame is coming if it is coming more than two seconds it will undergo for needle flame but if it is going more than 30 seconds, that is not acceptable as a standard. Chamber, what we do with this apparatus. Uh, see, here uh, we will be checking the you know, flame uh, flammability or the temperature capacity of the plastic. And uh, here, the, if the plastic is also carrying a white part, maybe during over a period of time, there will be a heat which can accommodate over there. Okay. So, due to that heat, plastic will have a chemical degradation. It should, it should sustain that or it should not have that kind of impression so that after some period of time it starts losing the insulation properties. Okay, So we will cut the plastic or we will keep out the plastic here Okay, uh, and uh, we will run it for uh, 7 hours at 125 degrees or uh, 75 degrees. We will do, we'll be doing the temperature test, right? right. We will be recording the temperatures there. Based on that temperature, we will decide what is the temperature that we need to do. And uh, we will insert, uh, we will keep it for 7 hours or 8 hours as the standard. And uh, it should not, mold should not break or some kind of cracks or something that is not acceptable. It should not be formed. After removal of this plug, whether the capacitor storage is uh, more, uh, storing more than one second or more. So after this oscilloscope, we are checking for analyzing this waveform. First, we will switch on this one, and we will switch off. And it should not exceed the after one second. It should not exceed the sound limit. 
Actually, we have to run. Uh, we have to check at the maximum normal load conditions. That's why here we are playing these musics. Hmm. And, uh, actually, the why this test is required means manufacturer will declare the ratings of the product. We are verifying that one whether it is uh, crossing the current limits or not. Okay. It should, uh, as per the standard requirement, it should not exceed more than 10 percent of the rated current. Suppose if it exceeds, means who is going to be used like users? They they may get the fire hazards or shock like that. That water heat, that amount we will see. How does it work? What is the mechanism behind it? Here we are applying water with some pressure, some values 2.6. For uh, let's we are applying for 10 minutes. In 180 direction we are applying that. Uh, this is a test setup for testing uh, LED tube light actually. Uh, so here we are checking for the input power measurements. Uh, whether, uh, the rated value, whatever the manufacturer is going to decline as per uh, the design. Uh, he is going to, if he is declaring some 10 watts or 12 watts, or for this voltage, this is the wattage. We are going to check with that rated voltage, whatever they are going to declare, and we are going to see if it is within that limit or as per the standard, it should not deviate more than 10% of whatever they are declaring. Because if it is deviating, this design is not correct or they are not appropriate in whatever they are declaring. It's what is the intent of this test. This is the power meter and this is the source through which uh, the tube light is powered on.